Math 152. We're going to look at section uh, 2.4. This is part two of that lecture. And we have been, uh, in the last section, we had some function. And we talked about the, the length of that function, right? The arc length. And we determined that it was uh, the integral of, of this, the square root of 1 plus the derivative squared. Uh, times that change in x. Remember, we had this change in x because we were like, we're doing this little approximations of all these little lines that would like approximate what the curve is doing. And so, um, so we have that. We're going to build on that. So we're going to take this shape, this f of x shape, rotate it around the x-axis, and we know uh, we've been doing a bit of that. And now, uh, previously we've been doing the volume of this. What we're going to do is just the surface area. Not thinking about like the volume, the inside. We're doing a two-dimensional measure. Just what's the surface area of this shape? And as you know, like area, if you have a rectangle, area is like times, right? It's how many square units would cover it. So here's how I want you to think about this function in this way. Um, we could still think about just taking just a slice of it like this. And now this part, how long this is, right? This is just this little, like this little segment right here. And that dx is that little change in x, which we let go to zero. We're gonna think about this as an approximation of this is a straight line. So this just goes all the way around like this, just think of this as like a strip of paper, right, that goes around the outside of it. And we know then that the uh, the radius of this thing, I didn't draw it great, maybe I could cheat that up a little bit. Haha. <laughs> the radius of this is the height, right, that's the function. That's the y part, right, when we plug in a certain x, it gives us that height. And so if we, if we cut this and, and Strip it out like that. Notice what we have is, is this strip up here is that part. And then this strip in here is what was the circumference of this circle. So it would be 2 pi times the radius. And we want to count up an infinite number of those. So if we're rotating around x, we have. We have this. And notice it's just uh, length times width of this rectangle. So we're just thinking of like this with these like these loops, uh, right? These ribbons and then cut them, take them out straight. And there's our surface area. Area is just length times width, right? We don't have to worry about a depth here because we're not doing volume. And then similarly, if I did that in the, in the Y direction around Y, look like that. So here's a problem. We're given uh, y equals x cubed. We're running x from 1 to 2, and we, we're going to rotate that shape around the x-axis. And what's the surface area of what we get? So I'm going to grab a little something from Desmos here. There's our shape. Notice we're running it from 1 to 2, rotating it around the x-axis. So as we do that, we get a shape that looks like this, kind of this little... Flu cone like fluting out cone shape. We don't find the surface area of it. If I think about taking a ribbon here, here's what I know. I know that this distance it has to do with that length of the arc, little section of the length of the arc. So let me get that set up. The derivative is uh, that. The derivative squared is that. So this distance that's up here is that. And then this height, this radius of this circle, is just the function at x. So that is x cubed. Now if I, if I clip this, cut it, and stretch it out, all that I've done is I've, I've kept this same distance right here. And then this part, that was the circumference of the circle. So it's 2 pi times the radius. 
So now I have all my pieces. My integral is running from 1 to 2. And it's going to be, uh, you know, just, just length times width. 2 pi x cubed times the square root of 1 plus 9x to the fourth dx. And then I can work out that, that integral. And I would do a little uh, u substitution on this one. I'm going to let u equal 1 plus 9x to the fourth. That means du would equal 36x dx. So 1 36th of du, whoops, x cubed, equals x cubed dx. I'm going to take the 2 pi out, and I've got 1 36th. The x cubed dx is taken care of with du, so square root of u du. And I'm going to change these boundaries as well. When I plug 1 into u, I get 10. When I plug 2 into u, great. I'm going to take this 136th out as well. So I've got pi over 18. Take that 2 thirds out, multiply it by pi over 18. Um, so that would give me a 2, takes that out to a 9. 9 times 3 is 27. And so now I've got this 45 to the 3 halves, 10 to the 3 halves, 1, 145 to the 3 halves. This is square rooted and then uh, multiplied by itself three times. So this would be 145 times root 145 minus 10 root 10. And there we go. You could shove it into your calculator, get a decimal approximation. Really think about this setup. Now we're just doing a little strip here where we have this distance, right, for some change in x. And this is an approximation, but then we let it run to infinity. So this approximation gets more and more accurate and then actually hits. So we've got our function, we've got our range. We know we're going to rotate around x and we want surface area. So I'm going to grab Desmos graph of this. There it is. So 6 to 12, rotated around the x-axis. Looks something like that. And we want the surface area for it. So let's grab a little a little ribbon. We're going to have to find some derivatives here to get that little segment. So derivative of this is 1 half x to the negative 1 half. If I square that, I get 1 fourth x to the negative 1, which is 1 over 4x. So that's what that is. I know that this height here Right here, that's just the function. So if I clip this, cut it, and stretch it out to a little long piece of paper, I'm thinking of it as paper. Oh, and f of x is square root of x. So this is square root of x. So this is the square root of x. This is square root of 1 plus 1 over 4x dx, but this isn't just the square root of x, uh, it's the circumference of this, so it's 2 pi times that. So I can set up my integral, and I'm just doing surface area, so it's length times width. It's running from 6 to 12. Well, I'm going to pull this 2 pi out because it's just a constant, and I'm going to do a little algebra uh, manipulation. These are both square rooted. So I can multiply them together under the square root. So this is the same as the square root of, distribute that x into there, x plus, the x's cancel, one fourth. And I'll do a little u substitution for this. Straight substitution, nice. Square root of u. And since I pulled these, uh, I'm, I do the substitution, 6 plus 1 fourth is 25 fourths. You might do it as a decimal. Uh, 12 plus a fourth, 48, 49 fourths. All right, so I've got 2 pi uh, integral of this. Might as well pull that 2 thirds out. It's going to give me a 4 pi over 3. 4 to the 3 halves. Square root of 4 is 2. 2 cubed is 8. So these denominators are 8. 
and then 49, square root of 49 is 7. 7 cubed is 343. And then square root of 25 is 5. Square that is one, uh, cube that 125. So this fly down to boom. Again, all this is mechanics. This is the thinking right here. Let's do one more uh, example. So we've got this shape. We're going to, uh, from x bound 0 to 1, we're going to rotate it around y, so this way, and get its surface area. So let me grab uh, something from Desmos here. So there's my shape. I rotate that around y, something that just looks like a bowl. And again, I want that surface area. This ribbon here. So if I pull that out, I'll get this shape. But what I notice is, like my radius is an x value. It's in terms of y. So I've got to solve this for x. So I've got to do a little bit of work here. Um, y equals 1 half x squared plus a half. So I'm going to subtract 1 half from both sides multiply by 2 to get rid of that 1 half. So 2y minus 1 equals x squared. And then square root. So x equals the square root of 2y minus 1. So that's my, that's my radius right there. And then now to get this, this part of the, um, the arc length, I'm going to need to find the derivative of that. So this is going to be a chain rule. And then the derivative of 2y is 2. And the 2 times a half will multiply each other out. So the derivative is that. And then if I square that, it's that, which is that. How many 2s do I need? So that means that this is the square root of 1 plus that right the the square of the derivative dy now if i cut this stretch it open this is still this and then the this distance right here is the circumference of that circle so two pi times so i am set to set up my integral i'm running from wait i'm running y values so I'm not going to necessarily run from 0 to 1, unless that's what this ends up being. So if I plug a 0 into here, it's 1 half. And if I plug a 1 into here, 1 half plus 1 half is 1. There we go. And then it's just area, so length times width. And I'm going to do this one. Uh, same idea, take out that 2 pi. And since these are both square rooted, I can distribute this 2y minus 1 into there. So it'll be the square root of 1 times 2y minus 1. Plus, notice 2y minus 1 divided by it is 1. And uh, I can combine some things here. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Do a little u substitution. So I've got 1 half du. Or you know what I could do is I could pull this 2 back into there. And I'm good. Again, notice what I did was I just pulled that 2 back in, so that just substitutes out. I could have put a 1 half here. It's going to come out and cancel it. And uh, I changed these values. So 1 half times 2, that's a 1. Uh, 1 times 2, that's a 2. So now I'm running from 1 to 2. So this gives me, which is uh, 2 pi over 3 times, if I plug a 2 into here, I get 2 root 2. If I plug a 1 into here, I get 1. There's my answer right there, exact answer, and you can do some approximations as well uh, by using your calculator. Uh, before I turn you loose, one quick thing, uh, just thinking about um, some of the factoring you might have to do, some of the algebra. If you end up with this, and you're not sure what to do with it, this is a perfect square. This is x squared plus 1 squared. Multiply it out if you don't believe me. And the square root of something squared is just itself. So this 
simplifies to that. And if you have to take the integral, I'd rather take the integral of that than that. If you can't find the integral, use one of those online tool, tools to get an approximation for it. All right, give these problems a try. Take your time. Uh, enjoy it. Check your solutions. Send me questions. Uh, message me or post them in the forum. Good luck.